So I have a project here. So we don't have whisper quiet AC units in our fifth wheel. We have a through the roof unit that's ducted for the back of the fifth wheel and then we have one in our master bedroom. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually going to create this baffle that's going to go around the bottom and cover up the actual inside AC unit, the main unit, so it actually dampens out a lot of the noise. I have this insulation foam right here which will kind of line the whole thing. I have some boards here, a small board to go on the end to make the entire assembly really rigid. Then I have some trim boards. It's Luan wood, essentially the same type of wood that's already used in the RV, and it just happens to be the same color as well. I have some stain for some of the boards that might normally be exposed, and hopefully it turns out well. So this is what I've made. It's essentially a baffle that is going to cover the AC. This side of it's open, and it's going to allow air to still come in through the returns which are right there, and the return is going to pull air directly in this way. So the opening on here I actually measured so it was roughly one and three quarters times the size of that opening as far as air volume coming in because I wanted more air to come in rather than restricting it at all because that could cause problems. Now what I've done here is I've hinged the end on this side so if I need to change the filter out or if I want to put it on blast mode or if I need to do something, it'll be easier to service. And then I have some L brackets that will go here and connect to the reinforcement bracing that runs along here and runs along here. I've already checked to make sure that all that's there and in place. Another thing I've actually considered doing, and I still may, is to eliminate the filter that's inside of there. It's just this little mesh filter that's in there and build a filter onto the front of this piece right here. Because if I can actually make an attachment up here, then I'll have much more air flow coming through and it won't be restrictive. Now here's what the other side of this baffle looks like. There's foam insulation underneath here. It's about three quarters of an inch thick foam. It's on the sides as well. You can kind of see where it comes out here where I cut it down just so it wouldn't interfere with the uh, back end of the AC right here when it's closed. I use three quarter inch solid wood right here and then the other side of this, or the side that's exposed, is actually Luan, which is the same material that they put the walls up here, except it's a quarter inch thick and it's much more sturdy. Then, of course, I use ducting tape to insulate this area on top. It's actually a double layer of it. And around the sides, I put a piece of weather stripping around the side here as well, just so air comes in here and you don't hear any noise through here, and it creates a better seal. Here's the finished product. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to finish that wood in right there. It kind of matches the rest of the surroundings and then the trim matches the cabinet. So I may leave it like that, but overall it doesn't look bad. You can see a little bit of the hinges, the four hinges that I used, but you're really never going to notice those. But this bracket right here, I'm probably going to change out to a different bracket or I might even try to get some felt or something to cover over that so it matches a little bit more closely. And then the opening on this side, and this is going to allow the air in. Now I'm going to do a test, and I may drop it down one last time so you guys can hear what it sounds like before and after. Alright, so the AC just kicked on. It actually will kick the compressor on here in a second. That's the fan right now. Okay, so now the air conditioner's on. I'm going to walk behind the baffle. This is what it sounds like while the baffle is down. This is right at head level, so kind of get an idea of what it would sound like. I'll walk all the way up here to the front. So when you're sitting down in the chair, it's about how loud it is if you can hear it. Now I'm going to put the baffle up. Oh, wow. That's pretty nice. At least half the volume. So again, before and after. It is significantly quieter. I mean, it's probably a third as loud as it was before. If you have any type of RV and you have these through the roof style ACs, in my case it's a Dometic, many cases it's a Coleman, and they have some other brands as well. This is a must-do improvement. So from standing right here, this is about the same volume as the air conditioning was before I put the baffle up. I'm standing on the opening side of it. So right at 62 decibels. 
Now I'm standing underneath it. Fifty-nine point six. Now I'm sitting down in the living room. Roughly fifty-four decibels. That is a huge improvement. So this is about how loud it was before I put the baffle. This is the back side. And this is sitting down in the living room. So the lumber that I used was actually three by 24 by three quarter inch thick strips of poplar. I purchased four of them total. One is an extra in case I needed it. And I also used a half inch thick piece of poplar that runs across the bottom lip right here, which I'll show you in a second when I get up there. The trimming right here was that pre-finished trimming that they have. At Lowe's, I think I paid maybe six bucks for two eight-foot sections of it that I cut down to do the trimming. Overall dimensions are 20 inches deep by 24 inches wide. Actually, it's more like 20 and a quarter by 24 and a quarter because this trim right here, I allowed it to hang over an eighth of an inch off each side so I could put this trim across the top and it would set into it a little bit. These little L brackets are about a dollar each. And the hinges across the back come in packs of two, and they were $2 per pack. I used all pocket screws to fasten it. Some of these I need to recess. I like using pocket screws because they self-tap and they drill very clean holes like finishing screws, but at the same time they have a wide collar around it, so they fasten very well. Here's what it looks like up top. It wasn't 100% necessary that I insulate the inside of this, mainly because this is the return air. But the ducting tape in here, I think it was $6 a roll, and it's aluminum adhesive tape. I used the spare weather stripping around the end right here, and then I used a half inch thick piece of poplar that fit right here just to add additional rigidity to the front. So the Luan board right here is a quarter inch thick, and this half inch thick piece of poplar just helps finish off and makes this a little bit more rigid. So it's a half inch thick piece of foam insulation underneath here. And as you can see, there's plenty of room around the return air, and it's not restricting airflow whatsoever. Anyways, everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it's been informative. If you have a similar type of AC setup, I highly recommend doing this. It definitely makes it a lot quieter inside of the coach. And I would say it's almost as quiet as a whisper quiet unit. I'm very, very impressed with this modification. If you like my video, I appreciate it if you'd subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up.